On Friday, it was announced that the Supreme Court had ruled to overturn Roe versus Wade, a wicked and blasphemous ruling from 1973 claiming to grant the right of abortion in our land. Since that time, millions of babies have been murdered. That ruling should have never been received as just or lawful, since Christians know from scripture that unborn babies are precious to the Lord and ought to be afforded all the protections of human life. But it truly is a momentous event to reverse such a travesty of justice. Given the lay of the land, drag queens in libraries, Pride Month being forced down our throats at every moment, it doesn't seem like a likely moment for this kind of reversal. But God is king and he reigns in heaven and he does whatever he pleases. And when he does these kinds of things, our job is to see them for what they are, wonders he has done and to praise his name for them. This is the Lord's day a day of remembrance, and in a little bit, we will feast together, eating and drinking at the table of the Lord, the table of remembrance. And so today, we remember the victory that God won in the death and resurrection of his son, Jesus. But in that victory, we also remember all his victories, and we give thanks for them all. We remember how God created the heavens and the earth. We remember the Passover, how the blood was put over the doors and the angel of death only struck the firstborn of Egypt and led Israel through the sea. We remember the bread in the wilderness and the water from the rock. We remember Barak and Deborah routing the armies of Sisera and Jael putting a tent peg through his head. We remember Boaz and Ruth. We remember David and Goliath. We remember Daniel's three friends in the fiery furnace and Daniel in the lion's den. We remember Esther and Mordecai and all the other heroes. We remember the apostles preaching, the church fathers teaching, Augustine and Gregory and Boniface and Luther. We remember the fathers of our nation. We remember those who gave their lives, who spent their lives, who stood, who smiled, who bled, who laughed, who sang, who marched. And we will remember what God has done in our day. He has saved us. He has forgiven us. He has washed us in his blood and he has seen fit to deliver us from the scourge of Roe. We have a ton of work to do, but we do not work from a place of fear. We work from a place of gratitude, a place of deep thanksgiving, because we serve a God who hears the prayers of his people, a God who saves. And we know this because we have seen it with our own eyes and because we remember.